So year sevens, moving on to a new unit and looking at understanding the writer's craft. In the last unit of work, we were looking at describing places. We're focusing on describing people here so that we're going to be able to bring this all together to write fantastic stories when we know how we can create really, really um, fantastic places and characters. So let's have a look at what we're doing today then. In this whole unit then, we'll be looking at different techniques used by writers, understanding how words can describe atmosphere, referring to a text when explaining a viewpoint, so uh, starting to use point and evidence, and understanding how choice of words can affect meaning and learning about the writer's craft. So we're going to start off by looking at an extract from The Sword in the Stone and it's a description of the character of Merlin. So there's a few words that we can see on the screen that are in red. Uh, they're only in red because they're in the word bank at the bottom. So it might be words that you've not come across before or that you don't understand. Let's have a read through then. And as we're reading and it goes on to the next slide as well, try to picture in your mind what this character looks like. The old gentleman was a singular spectacle. He was dressed in a flowing gown with fur tippets which had the signs of the zodiac embroidered all over it, together with various cabalistic signs, as of triangles with eyes in them, queer crosses, leaves of trees, bones and birds and animals and a planetarium whose stars shone like bits of looking glass with the sun in them. He had a pointed hat like a dunce's cap, or like the headgear worn by ladies of the time, except that the ladies were accustomed to have a bit of veil floating from the top of it. He also had a wand of lignum vitae, which he lay down on the grass beside him, and a pair of horn-rimmed spectacles. They were extraordinary spectacles, being without earpieces, but ra shaped rather like scissors or the antennae of the tarantula wasp. Sorry, wrong way. Merlin had a long white beard and a long white moustache which hung down on either side of it, and close inspection showed that he was far from clean. It was not that he had dirty fingernails or anything like that, but some large birds seemed to have been nesting in his hair. The old gentleman was streaked with droppings over his shoulders, among the stars and triangles of his gown, and a large spider was slowly lowering itself from the tip of his hat as he gazed and slowly blink, blinked at the boy in front of him. So a really detailed description there of what this character looks like, and we're going to focus on that for the next couple of tasks. So firstly, using the information that you have about Merlin, I want you to draw a picture of him. If you've got your English book, do it in that, if not, on paper. And then I want you to label it and colour it. So think about all that detail that we've just been given only use what we've read about in that extract that I've just read to you. Don't think about if you've seen television programmes or films about the character of Merlin. Try not to base it on that. Try to base it on exactly what we've just read. And you're drawing a picture of this character, labelling it and colouring it. OK, so think about all those details that we've been given. And then underneath your picture, I want you to read, uh, answer the following questions. So you'll need to reread lines 12 to 18 for a start. And then what kind of person does Merlin seem to be? So we're thinking about using evidence from the text. So in your answer, I want you to write Merlin seems to be something. I think this because it says something and something in the text. OK, so try and pick out things from that extract of writing to base your answer upon. And then the second question, would you like to meet Merlin and give reasons? So I would or would not like to meet Merlin because base it again on what we've read. OK, so obviously the picture is going to take you probably 15 minutes. Two questions shouldn't take you too long. The final activity for today, I want you to think about a character that you know well from a book or a film. Make notes about what they look like in the same way that you noted information about Merlin's appearance. And you're now going to write 
a couple of paragraphs describing the appearance of your character. You need to make sure you write in detail. So you can go back to that description of Merlin um, if, you, if you need help with structure in your writing. So you might go for a character like Harry Potter. That would be quite an obvious one to do. But you can do any character at all. You can do a character from Coronation Street or EastEnders or whatever program you like or film that you like or book that you like. Think of a character that you know well, make notes about their description to begin with and then write a couple of characters describing their appearance in the same way that that extract about Merlin was written. As with all of your work, it will be lovely to see what you're doing. Either put the work on folder under my, um, my section in the English bit or you can email it to me at any time. That would be great. Okay, off you go.